Yo, so today we are talking all about projectors. So we're gonna do a little projector review. I would say 95% of my murals are done using just the sketch method and the dual grid method, but sometimes I'm in a rush or the design I'm supposed to do is has like a precision to it um, with different elements and I wanna make sure I get it right the first time. So I need a projector. And that's the old school projector that I know some of you have seen with the little slides. If Definitely if you're an 80s baby, you seen this in middle school so I went on Amazon and ordered two different projectors because I haven't used you know a really nice projector in a long time so I want to get something that's uh, something I can rely on in my studio space and there were a couple different characteristics I was looking for in the different projectors I was looking at and one of them was brightness or lumens. And that just basically says how bright the image will be. So as a mirrorless, you want to make sure that you're able to project and you know, total darkness and some darkness as well because you're on the street. So you're gonna have light uh, no matter what. You wanna make sure that it's bright enough to actually throw down your outline. And the other characteristic that I was looking for is mobility or portability. I wanted to make sure that I'm able to travel with this and it's easy to carry around. So like even looking at this video right now, you can kind of see the difference in size. This DB powers projector that I have in my hand right now actually comes with a book bag. So, you know, it's like, it's, it's kind of too big for me. I noticed that right off the bat and it doesn't have a tripod plate at all. So it's like, you have to, Put this on a table or set this on the floor the m7 pico projector on my right is something that i can easily throw in my backpack and that's a huge positive and another characteristic was what type of power does it require so the db powers one that's right here requires you to have an outlet nearby whereas the m7 pico projector runs off of a battery and you can add uh, more power by plugging it up to an outlet. So that is a huge, huge benefit because you don't need to have power um, by the wall if you're wanting to project with that Pico projector. Another characteristic that I was looking for was the ability to adjust the image and that is just called keystoning. So basically you're able to move the image around um, so that, you know, if you're not square with the wall, if you're not perfectly in front of the wall, that you're able to adjust the image based on height and sort of angle, different things like that. The DB Powers one said that there was a four corner adjustment that you can do but with the uh, AXA projector it only does vertical keystoning and they both came with the standard input so they both came with the HDMI input which is what I use and they have the AV and USB port as well and AXA has a USB-C port on top of that. The M7 projector was the only one that had ability to attach a base plate for the tripod, which is great for me because I travel with a tripod a lot. So I'm able to just have my tripod hold my projector at any angle that I need. One thing that I wanted to do was test this out in the daytime in my studio with the lights on just to see how great they are when it comes to the brightness. So I had them both stacked up side by side with the Pico on top and the DB powers on the bottom. And one thing that I noticed was the difference in size just based off of the same distance from the wall that I was projecting. And with this, I basically just hooked up my iPad Pro, which is what I use to sort of, you know, project a lot of my sketches if I need to. And with the M7, I was easily able to just keystone it because it is at an angle because it's on the top of the wall. But like I said, it was easy to keystone and focus it as well. And I was really surprised about the brightness because like I said, it's daytime. I have the windows open, so light's coming in and I was able to easily see uh, the projection, the image and everything. And one thing I do have to say about the M7 is that it is running on the battery. So I don't have it hooked up to the adapter right now. And you can kind of see the difference between when I don't have it hooked up to the adapter and now when I have it hooked up to the adapter, there's a slight sort of glow, a little, little boost. But for me, it was like, okay, even without the adapter running on battery, it looks really good. The only thing that, you know, can bug me is that if I'm at an angle from left to right, and it has like this trapezoid feel with the image, I'm not able to adjust it. Only when, you know, the image is uh, sort of tilted up or tilted down, am I able to use the keystone to adjust it. 
but with the DB powers, I'm able to sort of have an angle, you know, it's a little tilted up and a little tilted to the left, but I'm able to use this sort of four corner adapter to adjust it so that it does fit, you know, whatever I'm trying to project on. So that was something that I was like, okay, this is something that can really help out, especially if you're in a hallway trying to project something or if you're in a tight space, there is a way to have a straight image. I would say the only thing is, uh, you know, from left to right, it does get sort of fuzzy in terms of the focus because they're at different focal length and the image gets smaller. So when you adjust it, you can only get smaller with your image. Uh, so next I tried them outside in the dark where, you know, you would actually paint a mural. So the first one that I'm doing, it's a DB and you can kind of see it does, you know, a pretty good job of brightening up your sketch so you can sort of do the outline and everything. The details are there. And then I sort of projected it across the alleyway on another building. It's like a warehouse. So basically I sort of tried to see exactly how far it can get. And especially when there's, you know, floodlights being uh, used on the outside of the building because you're never gonna be in a perfectly dark area. So, you know, you can actually see some of the detail, you know, it's not as great as I thought it would be but it does sometimes, I would say, get the job done if you're doing a really large wall and you have total darkness, I would say this is something that, you know, can work. I then tried the M7 and the M7, like I said, automatically you have a larger image. I'm running it off of the battery right now. You know, I did the keystoning and then I hooked it up to the iPad. I got similar, I would say, brightness when it comes to the projection, you know, getting close and same thing when I sort of uh, projected it on the building across the alleyway, I'm able to see the image. This is something that, you know, could be doable if there wasn't as much light being uh, projected on the outside. But then I hooked it up to the adapter and you can kind of see there is a, a, a brighter sort of image that's on the wall. So this definitely helps out. And when I sort of projected across the alleyway with the uh, projector, you can kind of see there is a huge difference when it comes to the brightness. So this is something where even though there's light, I'm able to actually still project an image that has a really great brightness for me to actually do the outline or whatever my design is. So for me, the M7 was clear cut uh, the winner in terms of the projector that I need to get mainly because like I said it is light nimble it's basically has all the inputs that I need to the only thing it does not have is the horizontal uh, keystoning or the four corner adjustment keystoning that the other projector had that means I have to be square with the wall my design can be higher or lower than the projector I can able I'm able to keystone that and make adjustments but not if it's at an angle from left to right so I would recommend this M7 projector to any artist um, trying to do work outside uh, it is expensive, $500, but look at it as an investment in your practice um, because you really want to spend the money on your tools and practice and sort of grow. So hopefully you like this review and it sort of helped you out in terms of figuring out what type of projector you need. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.